I grew up in poverty and never was shown real love. Until the age of 12, I was passed around from family members to family members and was deeply hurt and rejected. My soul was crushed by those who were supposed to love me. My name is Madeline Kutzer. I was born in the Philippines and was adopted and moved to the U.S. in May of 2022. And right away, God began telling me to advocate for kids who long to be loved by a mom and dad, just like I did. There are so many places that I go to because nobody wants to accept me. And it feels like, it felt like I just want to die. And I asked him that, why did you do this to me? Why of all the millions of people or billions of people living in the world, why me? Until the time that he sent me to Gentle Hands, I learned that he never leaves me. He is always there for me. That he loves me, that wh that's why he sent me there. And that it's not him who did those terrible stuff or those terrible things on me. I learned to just trust him more and give him everything that I am. And that I learned that he loves me more than anyone could ever do. The first time I saw my parents, I was on the rooftop carrying a baby, one of the babies in gentle hands who just got rescued. And then I was so happy. And then when they, fin then when they finally arrived, I was so excited. I kept on jumping up the rooftop. Can you imagine how much joy it brings us orphans to know a family is coming for us? There are millions of kids who are just waiting and hoping for a family. Thousands of these pray and will never stop praying for a family of their own. Are you willing to adopt an orphan child who may be older? Are you willing to give all your love to a child who has suffered more than you can imagine? and give them a better future the same way God has given you a better future. I'm not saying that there won't be pain or challenges, but if God has given you the desire to adopt, are you willing to do it? If you know God is speaking to you right this moment, you should be having goosebumps right now. <laughs> Pray to God, and if He gives you the desire to adopt, don't hesitate. Instead, pray for courage, and you should also pray for obedience. I never dreamed I would suffer the way I did. But I also never dreamed I would have the opportunity to be here knowing that I am loved and that God has a plan for me and allowing Him to use me to help other kids. This is my testimony and this story I testify. And I am so thankful and glad to share my story with all of you. And I hope it touched your heart. For my parents, thank you for adopting me.